What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day number 33 of Autodesk Fusion. Today we'll be working on uh, the last of our cams, the hex, hex cam. Um, now this one's going to be pretty easy to make because we're going to use a shortcut in Fusion that um, is not really available in Inventor. So what I'm going to do here is, first thing I'm going to do is actually save this, because I haven't saved this yet. So we're going to 33, we'll call this hex cam. All right, and I'm going to open up a new design. First thing I'm going to do is, under my document settings, I'm going to click drop down, and then hover over, find this change active units. We're going to put that in inches. And the reason we're going to do that is because our drawing file is in inches. So I'm going to insert that canvas like we've done before. I'm going to find a screenshot of that hex cam just so that I got an easy reference frame. I'm going to stretch it up just a little bit and flip it around. And we look good. First thing I'm also going to do is move it off to the side just so that it's not in my way, but we're able to use it. Now what I'm going to do is, under this Modify tab, I'm going to add some parameters. So this user parameter we're going to add is going to be our diameter. So I'm going to call it DIA. You can't use single letter uh, dimensions very easily. I mean, it, it doesn't really like that. Um, at least when I've tried to do some things, it says no, no. Uh, inches, so the first value we're going to give is 2 inches, and we can just call this um, diameter. Click OK. And now we're good to go. First thing I'm going to do is click on a circle. And in my center, 0, 0, we're going to make that inside diameter of um, our cam to be 3 16 And then uh, what the next thing we're going to do is create that hex cam. Is uh, Under Create, we're going to click on Polygon. And we're going to use the inscribed polygon. The reason being is we want this diameter value to be uh, a f to the edge or to a corner and not to the middle of the side. If I were to use the other one, this the circumscribed polygon, it would do the measurement to the side. But according to this drawing file, it has it to its corner, not to a side. So polygon, inscribed, and there we go. For our value, we're going to put 1 half, so I'm going to type in 1 divided by 2 times DIA, because diameter is my value. Click OK, and we're done. Let's go ahead and just extrude this out. 3 sixteenths. And we have officially made our hex cam. Alrighty guys, this will be the last video on parametric constraints. Hopefully these were helpful. and. Um, Good luck on making these yourselves. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you on the next video.